should you follow your passion or follow the money this is the question we're gonna answer in this video so i think uh, there is uh, two types of people one type of person is uh, who doesn't have financial goals and the other person who has financial goals and he is uh, money minded so for a person who doesn't have goals financial perspective right so of course uh, following the passion makes sense because that's what you like to do and you don't really care about money but if you have entrepreneur spirit inside of you you have some goals that you want to achieve in your life and that uh, ties into finances then uh, you cannot really uh, trust your passion when it comes to making money because sometimes uh, the thing that uh, you really like or enjoy doing is totally different from what the market needs so for example when i started building my agency i really was passionate about e-commerce and uh, running paid ads uh, scaling brands uh, you know getting these shopify notifications when you make a sale so i was really passionate in this uh, direction but then I went into the market, I started uh, looking for the clients, doing the outreach, trying to get uh, the first customers and then I saw how difficult it is to sell Facebook ad services when you are just new and uh, there are so many options uh, that you know the bigger brands uh, can choose from and uh, the barrier to entry was so high that it doesn't make sense for me to go into that direction you know and to make it harder for myself just because I like doing it right and then I saw another path that uh, a lot of people want uh, content services and uh, you know video editing is like very simple service to deliver and I saw that uh, there is like a lot of demand for this and then I decided that uh, I gonna find people who are really good at uh, this service so I don't really need to invest my years of uh, time you know to develop that skill I can just hire people for that specific role because there is a lot of demand for that service and uh, yeah and that uh, was uh, one of the best decisions that I made so instead of uh, following my passion I have uh, chosen to see where the demand is and then if I don't have the skill for that thing what people need then I would hire other people to deliver that service for them so I would be the middleman between uh, the client who wants uh, that specific service and the person who will be delivering that service so that would be my suggestion you know if you are building a business or let's say if you are a freelancer who are thinking to build a business and you are really specializing into one direction be open to making changes because uh, sometimes the service that you provide as a freelancer is not uh, in high demand and you know you will be struggling to find clients for that service in some cases when you try to find the clients and then you can see that it's kind of difficult, right? There is not a, as many job posts, let's say, on Upwork, if that's like more specifically to the platform, right? So you can just make a decision that uh, if you see the pattern that there is like another type of uh, service that people really need and they are posting job posts for that specific service and you don't have experience for that. So consider hiring people and uh, outsourcing that, that type of service. And this is how you're gonna start making money instead of following your passions. So this really depends on your goals and yeah, this was just a few thoughts uh, what I think and my opinion on this topic. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.